Hello, my name is Father Vulture, and welcome back to another part of Private Stock. Forgive my voice, I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit sick, but, or something like that, I don't know. But, uh, Father Vulture will never admit that he's ever sick. So let's continue with the game. In this backdrop here, you'll see, uh, Alternia. It's pretty sick. It's like Earth, but, you know, alien. Uh, oh man, this is so cool. Alright, I'm gonna, there's so much stuff around here. I'm gonna look at the robot. A busted up robot? It seems like something pretty intense went down here before you arrived. Let me turn this down just a bit. What's this? Look. It's a futuristic forklift. It's probably what moved the giant crate here. What, what giant crate? What giant crate? This one. Is this it? Let me operate it. You don't know how to drive this thing. He doesn't seem to be on anyway. I'm not looking behind that door. You're unsure of this weird thing's purpose. Maybe there's something around here that you could use to make it go. Or whatever. Look. Some kind of weird electric bug? It seems to be trying to communicate. Maybe you should pick it up for a closer look. Oh yeah! On Alternia, they have like, instead of... Uh -oh. Excuse me. Instead of uh, regular technology, they have insects and larvae and junk like that. Grubs. And if the grubs don't grow up in order to become trolls, they become technology. Or what have you. It's pretty sick. You pick up the flashing board. Words blink on the screen in an unfamiliar alphabet. But for some reason, you can understand it anyway. Nice. Hello? Is someone there? Is this a chat room? If a moderator is present, I require some assistance, please. Tetrarch! Huh? There's a huge explosion! Whoa! Were you harmed? Thanks for asking, although I didn't see any explosion. Well, maybe I did, sorta? The roof of your hive is totally jacked! If you say so. Wait, you can see my roof? Who are you? I mean... What do you mean, my hive? Oh. Oh no. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I forgot the code again. I'm really trying, I swear. It's just because I was so worried about you, I wasn't thinking, and it'll never happen again, I promise. Uh, what's going on? Nothing. All that matters is that you're okay. <sighs> you're okay, right? Oh. Let me move this. Uh, I can't move this bar. There it is. Uh, who are you? Who are you? I'm Zephros! Oh no. That wasn't a test, it w that, that was a test, wasn't it? Okay, I know, I just said it would never happen again, and I, and I mean that starting from now. No exceptions to the code. I am absolutely not Zephros. Right. Where am I? Okay, yeah, I know this one for sure. You're in your basement, right? I mean, you're not there. You're somewhere else. Yeah. I, uh... Oops, did I say something wrong? Where do you want to tell me you are? Yeah? Sorry. Um, why are you apologizing? It never hurts to be sorry. Mm. So, I'm um, Zephros. I'm getting that I'm in a basement somewhere. But you think we shouldn't say that? Yeah, that's exactly right. I got it right. Uh, didn't I? If you say so. I don't suppose you know what the deal is with this huge machine, with the snakes on it. It's sort of like the one in my attic. Except the one in my attic wasn't so space-age and it didn't have any weird force field bubble. Attic? You know, down the hall, up the stairs. The highest room in the house. Oh, duh. More code. Sorry! Yeah, the secret weapon. I'm sorry about that, Tetrarch Demic. Secret weapon? Tetrarch Demic? I- sorry, I know, I keep messing up. I'm doing my best. What is Tetrarch Damic? Um, your name? I mean, not your name. My name isn't Tetrarch Damic. Of course not. I never know who may be reading. <laughs> oh jeez, what was your code name again? My name's Joey. Right, I knew that. This is all my fault. I'm sorry. I have no idea, I had no idea things would go so wrong. Wait, what? 
I was going to ask you first, but then I thought maybe it was a quiz and that if I had to ask to, to stop to ask you, I would fail it. So I, I just put the battery in the weapon like he said. What? What are you talking about? I thought you left that weird paper on the crate as, as instructions. Weird paper? Not weird, right, great. The plan is great, Joey. The heiress will never expect it. I mean, I'm still not sure I get what it is exactly, but still. Just be proud to be entrusted with such an important duty. Hey, let me get back to you. I love Zephyros. Absolutely. Uh, let me get a look at this. I think this is the instructions he was talking about. You pick up a hand-drawn, scribbled-on diagram of the portal showing how the pieces fit together. Oh, perfect! Oh, I can't look at it. Sure, whatever. Anything else to click around here? Oh, uh, uh, goo! If you hid inside this crate, you'd think you'd be nervous that it was somehow going to close up around you, and you'd be left screaming in the dark in a slimy box somewhere and possibly far from your home. <laughs> I still love the Zephyr's voice. So you think you'll be hiding in the crate just... So you don't think you'll be hiding in the crate just now. I'm probably gonna, like, stick to the Zephyros voice as I'm currently not sick. You hear awful slams and growls coming on, coming from the other side of this door. You aren't even gonna try and open it. I'll look at this door. A futuristic-looking door in a gloomy, futuristic-looking bunker-like place. Maybe all the answers are through here. You have no idea how to open this thing. You don't even see a handle. If you had to guess, it looks like it's automatic, but the power seems to be off in here? You think. It's kind of hard to tell. What am I supposed to do? I guess... look? It's kind of like the thing from your attic that brought you here. The force field is a pretty striking point of contrast, though. Maybe you can use this thing to get home somehow? Please? That didn't exactly hurt, but it was kind of tingly? You don't think you'll be able to reach the portal while that force field's on. What do I do? Oh, wait, maybe there's something I can use to turn it on. Ah, instructions. Uh, here. Hmm, wow. This does indeed seem to be a diagram of this portal. For all that good, for all the good that does you. Which is currently none at all. Uh, what else can I do? Help! What do, oh, wait, wait, no. Is that you responding? Okay. Hey, I found the paper you were talking about. So what did I do with it? Well, uh, okay, give me a minute. I know this. Ugh, I'm, I'm really sorry. I didn't think you'd be quizzing me right after what happened. I swear I'll prepare next, better next time. It's okay. Wow, really? Ah, oh, yes, really. It's not a quiz. I have no idea what any of this means. Oh, jeez. Is it a test? No. I seriously have no idea what's going on here. I've never even seen this thing before. What is it telling me? I'm doing my best, I, but I don't know what you want me to do. Please tell me what you want me to say. Um... So, this paper seems like kind of a schematic for the portal that I just came through. It looks kind of familiar, not just the portal, but the paper itself. I don't know how that'd be possible, though. Anyway, is that right? Is This is a diagram for the snake machine? Well, if I remember right, that thing is a guide to the weapon. The weapon? You mean this snake portal? Oops, the code. Okay, yes, the portal. Can I unlock the snake machine with this? Is that what I should do? Unlock the snake machine? Oh, the serpent security program. Oh, uh, excuse me. Oh, the serpent security program for your hive's power hexagrid. Yes, if that's what you want, Tetrarch. You can always do whatever you want. Um, wow. Well, uh, will, uh, that thing you said, will that help me get out of here? Exactly! Just put all... Just put all ten fingers on the back of your tablet until the control panel uplink executes. X? Ten? Oh no! I'm in trouble! I did exactly what I'm not supposed to do! This was a test and I blew it, of course! You remember and I definitely shouldn't have said any of that! I'm so sorry. It's hard to keep up with these espionage rules sometimes. Okay, um... I'll just go check that out. I'm so sorry, Tetrarch. I'm just gonna leave you to whatever it is you do. So... a paper gateway? No. 
paper machine. The diagram doesn't give you any insight on how to control the panel functions. It's kind of weird because you definitely get a serpent vibe from the control panel, which is kind of weird, period. You place all ten of your fingers on the back of the tablet and approach the control panel. Hey, some kind of password entry program appears on the screen. I love this. Oh my dear god. Is, is this the password entry? This is the best game in the world. And I don't just mean Snake, I mean friggin' Hive Swap is the best game in this world. Oh my god. What? Wait, 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 let me do that again. Okay. Uh, 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 there we go. Uh, boom, boom. Boom. This is so cool! Almost there. You know, Alternian is actually like an actual, uh, translatable language. Like, you can translate Ar Alternian to, uh, that's the language that they have here, and that's the language, that's the race of the trolls. You can translate their language into English. So that actually says something if you go to, like, get an alphabet and- YES! Serpent! It, uh, if you actually go and get the alphabet and do it. Man, this game is so fun. Oh, I can leave! And a forklift! And it blew up! And oh. Huh. Just gonna not deal with that. <laughs> oh man, Joey. You're adorable, Joey. Oh man. Look at this wonderful, wonderful art. Oh man. This seems to be a map, but you don't recognize the shapes of any of the land masses depicted on it. Well, or well, actually, now that you think about it, they maybe do kind of look familiar, but you're not quite sure where you would have seen them before. It's weird. Uh, these guys are called sentinels, or something like that. What they do is that they go around and they kidnap trolls and they kill all the weak ones. And then all the ones that are strong, they take their birthing fluid and junk and then throw them into, throw it into like this big vat. And then uh, a lot of stuff happens, and then boom, grubs are made. And that's how you get trolls and technology and junk. It's a rather gruesome experience. It's, uh, people don't like these guys. Especially, apparently, Zephyros and Demek. Let's go. Hey! Hey, Xerox! <laughs> hey, Xerox! Are you there? I don't know how I feel about the codename Xerox. It's pretty close to Zephyros, don't you think? I mean, I imagine you've called me Demet. I ma imagine I called you Demet. Not that I would ever do that. Sorry. Okay, I really don't know what to say to any of that. Sorry! It's a fine, stop apologizing. You actually really, it's actually really annoying when you do that all the time, FYI. Oh, sorry. Ugh, forget about it. I wanted to ask you about the security console. I played the game on it, but all that happened was a forklift drove straight into the force field and exploded. Whoa, your forklift exploded? Yeah, it's not mine, though. Is it yours? So I'm sorry, I wrecked it. No, of course not! Or, I mean, do you want me to take it? Because it's broken? I wouldn't... I wouldn't mind. I mean, whatever. Up to you. Uh, Alright. And then a weird monster menaced me into this other room. And there's only one door? This is kind of a bad situation. Weird monster. Uh, yeah, that, uh, deer cat thing. Deer cat thing? Are you having a fight with your Lussus? Not that it's any of my business. Lussus? Is that what you call that thing? I barely got away with my wife. Wait a minute. Are you actually not Tetrarch Demek? No, I'm Joey. Joey Claire. I don't know what's going on, there's a bunch of big computers and boxes, and I don't know where I am or who you are, but you kept acting like you knew what was going on. Well, what are you going to do with Tetrax tablet? Do you mean this Trapper Keeper laptop? I found it on the floor. Oh no. 
Is Tetrak Damek there? Maybe I could talk to him instead. Please, please give the tab please give the tablet to Tetrak Damek, please. I don't know who Tetrak Damek is, and I don't know who you are. Could you look for him, please? Okay, yeah, I'll just root around this room that's filled with guns. Okay, thanks. You know, from a, a standpoint of, 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 of someone that doesn't know Homestuck, I can understand that this may all seem very, very weird. But since I'm uh, a Homestuck uh, horrible, horrible grub person, I, I know exactly what's going on. So it's just a f***ing joke, all of it. Oh man, that looks sick. Well, I'll read all of it. This reminds me of Jude's dorky conspiracy theories. Although you guess maybe those weren't actually conspiracy theories? More like conspiracy facts, apparently. You guess the same the same may go for all this stuff, but geez, do these dorks have to always dig themselves into crazy into a such a crazy bones hole that with what with layered scrawls and everything? I don't think I like you, Joey. Fashion my style. Of course, Joey's probably like a completely sane, normal human being, and I'm just, uh... It's not her fault that she doesn't understand. It's a lot of boxes, crates, miscellaneous containers, etc. Pretty, mund pretty mundane stuff. In your honest opinion? Not the not your first back st box stack radio. Rodeo. Let me do it. Bop, bop, da, bop, da, ba. Nothing. Hmm. You really thought that would work? Although maybe it's better that it didn't, considering that these boxes are probably full of bullets and missiles and stuff. Uh, Open? No way! If you wanted to get killed by some weird monster in the basement, you would have stayed home. That makes sense. Oh, come on. Did you find him? No. Oh no. I, I don't know what to do. What should I do? Oh my god. Why on earth are you asking me? What's Earth? What? Oh. My. God. Jude, is that you? Is this another one of your stupid practical jokes? This isn't funny. No, I'm Zephros. Okay, Zephros. Tell me what's going on. I, um... I don't really know. Actually, I'm kind of upset because you're yelling and that makes it harder to think. I'm, I'm not very... I know I'm not very smart or good at anything, but I really am trying my best. I'm sorry. I can't believe this. I'm the one who just got shot through space and into an alien nightmare horror house, and you expect to, and you expect me to make you feel better? Look, we all have self-esteem issues, but there's a time and place for pathetic groveling, and it is not when I'm trying to not be devoured by alien monsters. Wait, you're an alien? I'm two seconds away from throwing this disgusting joke machine into one of many, uh, one of several pi massive piles of armed and dangerous garbage around me. Wait, don't! This is so exciting! i never met an alien before! I'm, like, seriously losing it! Most trolls never meet aliens until they go off-planet to conquer them. What? Oh, okay, but, like, you could be messing with me. Are you messing with me? The Tetrarch, uh, the Tetrarch says I have to stop being so trusting. Oh, I know! Say something only an alien would say. Uh... I'm gonna tap dance your sad little nerd body into the ground. If you do, if you don't cut out this stupid baby nonsense right now, that's. Did you understand what I was asking? That was sort of a normal thing to say. No, it wasn't. That was not a nice thing to say at all. Ugh, sorry. This is all a little nuts, and uh, the deer cat maybe, maybe got me a little rattled. So you're not an alien? No, I am. I mean, if this seriously is an Earth, which between the snake machines and the deer cat and the sci-fi technology, I'm willing to believe. Plus, there were some other monsters earlier, so I'm having that kind of day. Monsters? Yeah, I managed to get past them. Barely. Whoa! You're so cool. You're like a real- you're like on a real adventure. Wait. What color is your blood? Uh, what kind of question is that? I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to be disrespectful. I just wanted to be sure I knew before I made a mess of things. Um, okay. It's red? Really? Me too! Awesome! We could even be friends! This is so cool! Hey, maybe I could even help you! How? The Tetra the Tetrax Luscus knows me! Hell, calm he'll calm down if I can get over there. By Luscus, you mean the deer cotton monster? Um, yes. That's wonderful, thank you. Yeah! 
Except, um, I don't know. I'm still worried this might be all a big test. A test? I don't follow, sorry. Boy, it's getting kind of frustrating having to say that over and over again. The Tetrarch is always testing me. Uh, if this is the final exam of secrecy stuff, and I blow it, he's gonna be really disappointed. Oh, I know! If you can prove you're an alien, I'll come over and help you out. Do you want me to say more alien things? No, I mean, I have no way to verify if those things are true or not. Um, oh, send me a picture of you! I don't have any photos with me, and anyway, how would it get to you? I'm trapped in here by that monster. Aren't you using Tetrarch's tablet? Take the pics with the... With that, and take the pics with that and exmit and exmit it over. Pics, exmit, pictures, transmit. Oh, transmit. Okay, that's a uh, kind of weird ask, Xerox, but I'll give it a shot. Here it goes. Oh man, they're calling the hell out of these trolls. Let the rumpus commence. Your name is Zephyros Trito. You're having a difficult evening, just one of many in a predictably difficult life, because you are rust blood trash. You just witnessed the beams of red and green energy erupt from the hive of your best friend Tetrarch Damek right before a squadron of Imperial drones snatched up half your neighbors. So it's a safe to so it's safe to say that your revolutionary efforts are not going great. Oh, and it seems you received the package. I guess I'm just gonna open that, obviously. What idiot wouldn't open the package immediately? You open up the package, inside is a FLARP manual. I have psychic powers! That's what that symbol over there means with my mouse, yeah. The, this edition of FLARP is focused on spy games, intrigue, and rebellion. Tetrarch Danik modeled a lot of his underground resistance ideas after this system. Oh, that's that's really cool. So you're having, you're having a resistance, but it's based off of LARPing. That's weird. That's cool, that's weird. That's weird and weird. I'm in love with this music. I'll have to catch you guys in the next video. Squad!